So we're gonna be installing a custom ROM on the Samsung S4 and I'm gonna go step by step on how to do everything right from rooting it or checking to see if it's rooting, they're rooted to installing a custom recovery and then installing the ROM. It's very easy to do. The download links will be in the description below. Um, and uh, also there'll be tutorials, uh, written ones if you wanna follow a guide in the description below. So first of all, let's check if we have a root. You might, most likely your phone is not rooted if you haven't rooted it. So we're gonna check to see if this device is rooted. So what we're gonna do is go to the App Store and download an app called Root Checker. I already downloaded it, it's right here. Well, once it's downloaded, click and open it. And then all you gotta do is click, uh, all you gotta do is click Verify Root Access. And this device is not rooted. So we're gonna go ahead and root the phone now. This is the Canadian version, uh, 337M. So this root is specific for it. There'll be a download in the description below and you can download the uh, the root, the files and the Odin that it comes with. Um, now I'm focusing mainly on Canadian version phones because a lot of the support out there is geared more towards T-Mobile, AT&T and all those other ones. I'm focusing more on the Canadian uh, Samsung Galaxy here. So this is the Canadian version, uh, 337M. So what we're first gonna do, actually before you even plug it into your computer, you're gonna go into settings, oops. Make sure developer mode is on. Uh, so go to more, developer options. Now if you don't have developer options enabled, you have to go to about device, scroll down to where it says build number and click it seven times until app developer mode comes up. So just hit it seven times, then you'll see developer mode or options. Click USB debugging, enable it, okay. Okay, so once you div uh, you've enabled developer mode, um, take out the battery, and we're gonna turn it on, and we're gonna put it in download mode, okay? So to do that, you're gonna hold the volume down button, the power button, and the home button at the same time. And just keep holding it until it boots up, and you'll see the download mode menu. Excellent, so hit up to continue. Then we're gonna plug the phone in to your computer. Now if you don't have the Samsung drivers, you're gonna to have to download them. They're also in my description below. And you're gonna to have to install them before you do this, this step. Okay, so now put the phone aside. We're gonna go over to my computer. Okay, so you're gonna download this file, this folder. Um, there's obviously there's a link in the description below for this folder um, and it's it's gonna be this file here called CF auto root uh, for the SGH i337M once you extract it you're gonna get this folder here in that folder you're gonna open Odin once you've opened Odin you're not gonna touch anything else okay you're not allowed to touch nothing in here unless you want to ruin your phone so this is very specific go to PDA gonna ask you to browse and you're gonna click that file that's in that folder that pertains to the 337M. Double click it and then so this is very grimy here and you would simply hit start okay as you can see the progress bar is green and it's going, and this is what you should see on your screen here. Let me see if I can get any closer here. So your phone should be rebooting and looks like this. It's installing, do not panic. Very easy, just let it do its thing. And now it's probably rebooting. Okay. Now that it's booted up, you might see the screen pop up. I would choose decline that option. Okay. So go to root checker again to see if it worked.
Click Verify Root Check. Grant permission. Congratulations, your device is rooted. Now we can proceed to install a custom ROM, I mean a custom bootloader, and then install a custom ROM. Okay, so now we're gonna install a custom bootloader or a recovery, custom recovery is what I'm trying to say, on this uh, Samsung S4, 337M. Now this is something I recommend doing, and it's something I always do, uh, if I can find it here. I go to the security options, where it says verify apps, I allow install unknown sources and I click take off verify apps. It's just again, it's very annoying. Now you're gonna go to the Play Store. We're gonna install um, Clockwork Mod Recovery. So we're gonna download ROM Manager from the Play Store. If you do this a lot, I recommend paying for the app, but we only need the free one in this case. If you're only doing it for your one phone and you know, you're not a, but if you're doing it a lot, I would recommend getting the paid one. It's a little better. So now open it and a little menu comes up, just hit okay. Um, so here, what you do, click here where it says clockwork mod recovery, install and select your phone right here. Okay. Do not install the flash clockwork mod touch. It's going to ask you to pay for it, whatever. Okay, click here where it says flash clockwork mod recovery. It's going to download. Grant permission. And it has flashed. Hit OK. Now to test it out, what I do, exit everything here, reboot the phone, or I mean don't reboot it, power it off, and what we're going to do is we're going to boot it up in uh, download mode, not download mode, in recovery mode. Mm -hmm. You hold the volume up, hold the home button, and the power button at the same time, and release when you see the Samsung come up, and you'll see at the top a little message. Okay, now we have successfully installed Clockwork Mod Recovery version 6.044. It's not the touch version, it's just a simple one. Okay, I don't know if you can see this. But what this is going to allow us to do is install ROMs from the zip. It allows you to wipe uh, cache, wipe Dalvik cache. Um, so it's necessary for installing any custom ROM. So that's how you install Clockwork Mod Recovery on your Samsung device. So let's go ahead and reboot it now. Okay, now we're good to go. We're ready for a custom ROM. Okay, now the ROM that we're gonna install is this one here. I already have it installed on my other S4, and I absolutely love this ROM. Uh, here's some of the details on it. I don't know if you can see this clearly, but there's the build number. Uh, it's 4.4.2, so it's KitKat. Uh, it's got the baseband m 919 bv mk 5 So it does change the model number to GT9505. So I mean, it does work. Um, I don't know why it works, but it works. And now I recommend this, I like this ROM and I'd recommend it either way, but uh, maybe if you're not comfortable, you can look for one that's specific for the 337M. Um, but you know, this works and I haven't had any issues with it whatsoever. Super fast, super smooth. Um, you know, I, I love how it looks. You know, I'm not into the, the uh, Samsung stuff. I love the, you know, AOSP ROMs. And this is just a beautiful ROM. Um, you know, it's simple, doesn't have too many options. It's just a nice stock experience and it's really nice and smooth. It's what I would recommend to uh, pretty much anybody that needs it. So anyways, let's move over to this phone here. As you can see, it has this hideous Samsung creation here right now. Oh my goodness, like look at how ugly that looks. That's my opinion only though, but I'm just saying it's just, it's just I'm a Nexus user because of that. So now that I can do this with my Samsungs, you know, I, I love the Samsung hardware. 
Uh, it better than Nexus, anyways. It's not. I mean, it's not the best hardware either, but it's just nice. Nice enough. So, anyways, what we're gonna do is we're gonna plug it into the computer, and the uh, ROM, the file to download it, is in my description as well. What we're gonna do is we're gonna copy it over to the memory card. So let's move over my computer here. I'm gonna go here to your phone. There's my memory card here. I've already copied it over, but you know. So we're gonna download it. This is the file, it's called D-E-A-N-V-D-H-G-E 4.4.2. We're gonna drag it over to your memory card and we're gonna make sure it's in the root folder. That means it's not inside another folder, it's just right out in the open. Also, um, you don't need, uh, I'm not sure if you need Google Apps for this one. Okay, so we're, we're not going to copy it over. If we need it, we'll, I'll show you how to flash Google Apps afterwards. But let's just go ahead and do this now. So once it's copied over, you can turn off your phone. Okay, whatever, don't even bother. What I do is I just take out the battery. <laughs> Quicker, wait a few seconds, put it back in. Okay, very simple to do, this is the easy stuff. So now hold up to the, hold the volume up, button up, home button, and power button. When you see the Samsung logo, let go, and you're gonna boot into the recovery. Okay, once we're in the recovery, we're gonna first wipe data, do a factory reset. Okay, let us do this thing. It's gonna do a factory reset. Once that's done, we're gonna go ahead and wipe cache partition. Then we're gonna do a, oops. We're gonna go to advanced. Okay, then we're going to wipe Dalvik cache. Okay, now we're going to go back and we're going to click on install. So install from zip. Choose zip from storage SD card 1. That's the uh, external SD card. Okay, then just look for the uh, the ROM in this case is DANVDH-GE. Okay, we know. You remember, you make sure you know what you're clicking. Okay, hit the power button to select it. Then go down to yes. You hit the power button to select. By the way, I don't know if I explained this already. So you scroll up and down with the volume buttons. You hit the power to select. Okay, once you're there, select it and let us do its, its magic. As we speak, the phone is getting a custom ROM installed. However, before this step, like I didn't have anything on this phone I needed, but I would recommend doing a backup, okay, of your everything, of your settings. This is just always do it. And I'm not, this phone I don't care that much about, and I know it's gonna work, so I'm fine. But I would recommend always, just always backing up your EFS, uh, backing up, you know, your, your system. As well as if you have apps and stuff, you're gonna have to back it up, uh, pictures and all that, because it is this is gonna completely wipe everything once we're done, because we do have to do a factory data reset and you know and uh, cache wipe the cache and all that. So I would definitely recommend doing a full backup. I'm gonna make a video on on how to do all these backups and whatnot. So anyways, now that it's installed, we're gonna scroll down, click go back. We're gonna wipe data, factory reset. Okay, okay, once we wipe data, factory reset after the flash, then we wipe cache partition. I mean, sometimes you can skip these steps, but just do them, might as well. Makes me feel better. Just clear, it just clears out, you know, the cache and all that. Go to advanced, wipe Dalvik cache. Now you can go back and that reboot system. Now, this can take a little longer than normal because it's booting up for the first time. Now, this part could take a few minutes. I wouldn't panic. 
Um, but if you know if it's been like 20 minutes, then yeah, something's wrong. In this case, it went pretty quick. Now, as you can see, it says Google. If it freezes at this stage the first time, just reboot it, do a factory reset again, maybe wipe the cache again, and try again. If it still doesn't work, then something didn't work. But in my situation, I've done three S or four of these phones now with this ROM, and it works every time. Uh, one of them, though, however, when it boots up, there's a little bit of writing here, red, red writing and a yellow. I forget what it says. Um, it's annoying to see it, but other than that, nothing's wrong with it. If you do get that warning, it's not a big deal. I think there's things online that explain how to get rid of it. Um, but to me, it wasn't a big deal in that one case that I had. But if it does do it, I would recommend maybe getting rid of it if you know if you can. But it, it really won't affect anything. So. So as you can see, it's booted up. Beautiful stock Android. Excellent. So there we go. And you know what? I love I love this ROM as well. It's got a lot of options. However, this is not the ROM I wanted to flash, but it doesn't matter. I mean, it's just, it's just for, you know, it's the same thing. It's nice. It's exactly the same stuff I wanted. But anyways, yeah, this is, the link in the description is not for this ROM. It's for this ROM, okay? Very similar, hardly any difference, but this one's a little better. It's more stock. It's more nice. This one has a lot of options, more options even, but it's not for the beginner. And uh, I mean, it, it has a different effects. Like look at this HTC-ish thing going on here, which is not actually stock. You can remove it though. This ROM has all the options for everything. But this one is just actual, you know. Yeah, I might do a comparison on them. I like both these ROMs. They're both my favorite. Um, but uh, this one is just a stock, um, KitKat-ish, well it's KitKat, but it's, you know, it's a custom ROM, but it's really, really original. Anyways, um, so yeah, that's it. We've uh, installed a custom ROM on this phone, we've rooted it, we've installed Clockwork uh, Recovery, and uh, it's perfect. So hopefully this was easy to follow. There's written instructions in my website, so just check the description below for everything. Thanks for watching.